There was a time, late-ish 20th century, where an American dieter would opt for the egg white omelet. High protein, low fat, perfect. Sometime in the last 20 or so years, though, the egg yolk has come back into fashion, both as a virtuous source of fat and, as Marion Bull put it in Eater magazine the other day, a sort of unlikely fetish object. The more orange the yolk, really orange, the better. The title of the piece is Orange is the New Yolk. Marion, welcome to the program. Thanks so much for having me. Where did all of this come from? The whole perfect yolk, <laughs> orange yolk thing? Come on. Well, for me, um, they appeared in my kitchen, and I became very (laughs) um, grossed out and concerned and curious. My boyfriend, about a year and a half ago, brought a dozen Happy Egg Co. eggs uh, home from the grocery store. And I had the strange experience of cooking one of those eggs and one egg from my CSA at the same time. And the CSA egg had a yolk with a nice, gentle yellow color. And the Happy Egg Company egg had this orange yolk that I can only describe as something that looked like medically dangerous. And I was just so (laughs) curious as to kind of, you know, how we got to this place that people are paying for the simulacrum of what we think of now as as very natural, very healthy foods. But at the end of the day, are sort of fake and can look a little terrifying when brought to the most dramatic extent. So so not to take all the joy out of this and, and, and you know, horn, horn the marketplace angle into this story, but fundamentally, this is a marketing and branding story, yes? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that the most interesting thing about this story is how this cycle of demand has been created, right? Because let's say in the aughts, you have two things happening, right? You have the locavore farm to table movement mm-hmm. and also the great recession happens so you have a number of people who have a growing interest in where their food is coming from and how it's produced right mm-hmm. and you also have people who are interested in using cheaper products and also around this time we have the ramen boom mm-hmm. particularly in new york and a lot of cities in the u.s there are these very popular very successful ramen restaurants that are opening up that are serving really gently cooked soft yoked mm-hmm. eggs on top of their noodles. So the egg is now appearing as a hen egg or a farm egg on fancy restaurant menus. Aren't aren't all eggs hen eggs? Exactly, yes. Okay, just checking, (laughs) sorry. Yes, but that's how they're being marketed already, right? right? Right. So as our visual culture has become more and more intense, more people are posting photos on Instagram and also since the pandemic, more people are interested in cooking at home. I think there's become this obsession with the orange yolk as the signifier of luxury and and almost purity, really. Right. The the Instagramization of food is not to be underestimated here. But let me ask you this. Do you know off the top of your head how much your boyfriend paid for those those Happy Egg Co. eggs? I would guess it would be between eight and ten dollars. Oh man, that's a lot of that's a lot of money for a dozen <laughs> eggs. I don't know, was it a dozen? That's a lot of money for eggs. It was a dozen. It was a dozen, yeah. So what do we do with this? Because, you know, there are people who are going to be listening to this saying, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And there are going to be people who are listening to this saying, yes, no, absolutely. We want these animals to be well treated. We want and and if we can afford it, it's worth it to have this food. Where do we come down? I mean, you're the expert. Well, I think it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, there are all of these different ways that these larger corporations are are creating an orange egg. Most of it is through feeding the hens things like marigolds and turmeric and red peppers, which is like not bad, right? There's nothing unsafe about that. Um, But I think... No, no, but... Come on, really? (laughs) Right? Well, I just mean, I think it's fine for people to want an orange yolk. It's nice to have food that looks good, right? That makes us think that it's more delicious and it makes us get excited about cooking, which I think is wonderful. But I think it's important for people to know what they're getting. I don't think that I've asked you yet uh, how these eggs taste. Do they taste better? I don't think that there is a huge difference between the orange yolked eggs you're getting at the store and the not orange yolked eggs you're getting at the store. Now, you have to understand that, you know, one of the biggest factors that affects egg flavor is how long it's been stored and refrigerated for. So a fresher egg is going to be theoretically a more delicious egg. But I think that the Happy Egg Co. eggs taste like a nice egg. I mean, I think most people at the end of the day are not going to taste a 
significant difference between that and the cage-free, free-range, right. certified humane egg that they pay a dollar less for that has a yellow yolk in it. Marion Bull, she's a food writer in Brooklyn. Marion, thanks a lot. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much for having me. This was fun. I mean, I should go out and find some of these eggs and try them, right? That's what I had to do. Yes. Try them and let me know what you think. All right. I will. I will. I will report okay. back. This final note on the way out today, about which people will have thoughts, probably like orange jokes, too. Amazon said today that it's going to start running ads on Prime Video. Prime Video, of course, is available for free. That's in air quotes for Amazon Prime subscribers, along with their $14.99 month fee. Yes, you get free shipping with that. Again, air quotes. Video can be had a la carte for $8.99 a month, but either way, now with ads. The company says it will run, and this is a quote, meaningfully fewer ads than linear TV and other streaming TV providers, end of quote. I am just going to say here, meaningfully fewer? Sure. Marketplace is supported by VinoVest, the wine and whiskey investing platform helping people diversify beyond the stock market. More at VinoVest.co. And by Vermont Tourism, welcoming visitors to a place where even the views can shift one's perspective. Vermont, very much open at VermontVacation.com. All right, we got to go. Here is your moment of economic context. I saw this on Reuters. Job cuts have come to the Federal Reserve. 300 cuts through the end of the year. In all, the Federal Reserve System as a whole employs about 21,000 people across its 12 districts and the Board of Governors in Washington. First cuts at the Fed, by the way, since 2010. Our theme music was composed by B.J. Lederman, Marketplace's executive producer, is Nancy Fargali. Donna Tam is the executive editor. Neil Scarrow is vice president and general manager. I'm Kai Rizdal. We will see you on Monday. Everybody have yourselves a great weekend, all right? This is APM.